What's happening, folks? Back with another gaming playthrough, and we're going to play Mega Man 2 for the original Nintendo. This is one I had on my own Nintendo pretty early on, and I remember beating it uh, repeatedly. Indeed, I remember helping a couple friends of mine beat it because they couldn't get past some parts later in the game, whereas I had learned the tricks of the trade. Uh, and in fact, you know, I probably played this when I downloaded the ROMs and emulators on my computer around 2010, but I definitely played it about five or six years ago when a buddy of mine came to my old apartment just before I moved to where I live now. Uh, and he brought one of those multi-system emulators, uh, including Nintendo games, and I remember playing Mega Man 2 that night and beating it, so I have beat this in the last, you know, half decade or so, but I don't think I've played it since then, so. Uh, to the best of my memory, this is going to be a longer playthrough. I remember it probably took like, I don't know, 45 minutes or so, maybe a little bit longer, so grab a snack, grab a drink, find a comfy spot, and we're going to go through this. So here we go. This is Mega Man 2 for the original Nintendo. Uh, and as I said, it's going to be a bit of a longer playthrough, so find a comfy spot. Oh wow, the evil desires of Dr. Wily. Sounds naughty. Now, admittedly, I did play Mega Man 1 back in the day, or the original one, but I don't think I beat it. it was, I remember it being harder, uh, and I didn't own it, so that might have been part of it as well. Uh, I'm going to play on normal, just because, you know, that's the way we do it. Wait, what? Yeah? Alright, well, hold on. Apparently, I have to do this. Okay, this is ridiculous. I apologize. I didn't know I was going to have to do this. Select. Start. You can do this a couple different ways. I personally think the Metal Blade is the most important weapon in the game. Oh, I forgot to do the birds, which people who know this game will know what that means, but when we start the next level, I'll try to remember. But yeah, you gotta get Metal Blade quickly and go from there. This game has great music, also. I always remember this game, uh, this level gives the graphics some fits because when there's a lot of stuff on the screen it starts flashing like everything. So those horizontal ones are for items, whereas the clear, or not clear, black and white circular ones are for health. No, I don't need either at this point, but wait, check that. Actually, I do. Give me a health one. Miserly game. You are miserly. There we go. Nope. Oh, and I can't even get that one. You know, this is some BS, bro. There we go. Thank you. 
I like how he's all arms and legs when he runs. Very dramatic. Stern face, though. Serious about his job. There's a one-up up there, but I don't have an item yet to get it. And when I say item, I literally mean item. One through three. This will all make sense eventually. Oh right, it's a dancing lunatic elf on top of a big truck wheel. I like his pink jumpsuit also. a lazy-eyed metallic column? I'm not even sure what you call that. That's always an interesting jump that you can actually miss if you don't time it perfectly. Frozen jump! It's not great fighting him with the regular gun, but we'll do what we have to. It's only really a problem when he switches the... Fuck. Oof. Depending on the order you go through the mini-bosses throughout the game, Certain weapons are better against others. In fact, Metal Blade, if you hit him with one of his own weapon, as we'll find out later, he dies instantly. Metal Blade is good against most people in the game, so I always get it first. And then we go here... The birds! He hold down both buttons. This song is very nostalgic to me. I think when I, the very first time I played this game, this was the first level I picked, just sort of randomly. Hey! Pick an extra guy. Would you stop spitting your little robotic children at me? Which is a weird sentence to say. Oh, come on. Oh, this is, this is fun. It's a rockin' beat, man. Ah. There's a lot of that in this game where, like, a guy just on the other screen, whether it's below or to the left or right, is just perfectly placed to cause problems. I mean, hearing this music makes me want to run like Mega Man. What am I doing? I talked a big game about Metal Blade. Why is it... Because Metal Blade you can shoot in eight directions. What am I doing? If you hit those spikes, you die instantly, but I used to, you know, try to be clever and do precise jumps. Uh, I don't need health, guys. I would, however, appreciate some Metal Blade. Piss off. Thank you, kind sir. How did I jump over that? Trying to be careful here. So much later in the game, there's a long multi-screen water part where you have to go through like four screens of spikes. Get out of here. 
Look at it. That's the thing I'm talking about. They sort of lull you into the sense of, oh, you can run through the whole part. waits in this weird tank for anyone who happens to invade his aquatic theme park. Get the hell out of here. Beam me up. Also get equipped with gray and white tights. And Luca's drinking out of my water cup. Thank you, Luca. Okay. Let's do some wood man. I apologize, Luca is being very difficult. She's like lying across the keyboard, so we'll see what happens. So are those real carrots, or are they robotic carrots? That's the question. But doesn't every one of these tunes make you want to run a synth marathon? Tiger? drop a little bit of health, I wouldn't mind. I wonder who built all these cave platforms. It seems odd that they would create infrastructure for me to invade their facility. Also, what the hell are these bamboo poles sitting on? Just defying gravity? Basically, jump over you, so you can just ignore them. Well, I believe Metal Blade works well against Woodman, but it's getting close enough to hit him that is the issue. it wasn't much of an issue. 
Luca's like smacking me with her tail as she sits up here. significantly affected by the wood weapon. I do dislike this level for two reasons. One, I hate these things because they make you wait. You can't just kind of run through. And secondarily, any level where you can fall and instantly lose a full life bar is annoying to me. See also Golden Axe. It only happened once on that playthrough, but... Sin Solo. You don't survive those. So he's like a room fan, but alive? Oh, hello. Ah! Yo, you want to give me some life now that you're just relentlessly attacking me with your kin? Or your kindred? Or your progeny, perhaps best? No, they don't. Excuse me, game. Another guy who's hard to get close to. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Air 
shooter. Dr. Light, who doubles as a mall Santa during a certain part of the year. Is the specific outfit with tights required to use each of the weapons? Spawning enemies is hilarious. Another good track. Different items do different things, and at different times in the game, you literally need each one of them to progress. But I need item 1, not item 2, to get that extra man, unfortunately. a lot of annoyance if you can do this, but it ain't easy. Oh, here we go. Nope! Yeah, I think Metal Blade, that'll work. I mean, admittedly, it seems like it would work against most robots, throwing a big, sharp metal disc right into their face. Is the flashing pink light really necessary, Mr. Light? Sorry, Dr. Light, I know you didn't go to eight years of mad scientist school to be called Mr. This is the only level where the music is not my favorite. It's a little too circusy. It's a bit silly. I don't hate it, but it's not great. I 
like, jump after I fell, which seems like a gravitationally difficult thing to do. And now this part begins, first with a simple one, and then it just gets more and more elaborate slash ridiculous. But it is like that part on, uh, what is it, Aquaman? Not Aqu Aquaman, Bubble Man. It's sort of presaging a more difficult part later in the game. We have to ride one of these, but it's the stakes are higher because there's spikes below you, so if you mess it up, or you know, just like barriers in between, so you can't just ride it, you have to like jump over barriers and land on the other side. And if you miss, Mega Man gets a spike in the bum. I think we, like, break atmosphere in this one. I do hate this guy. This off, you bastards. I need one. I need the, the one item. Damn it. one we want. I wasn't paying attention to the right side when we came up here before. There we go. Yeah, not worth it for a health thing. Would you piss off? metal there we go and i do believe air is what we want here Two hardest stages. <laughs> He's 
He's like one of those Zippo lighters. This level gets more intense. Also, I'd like to point out, I'm not going to do it unless I have to, which means that I will have done it the better way and then died and then had to do it the harder way. But there's a part later where you have to go over this large stretch of lava with these bricks that appear, but in a very specific pattern. All the bricks only stick around for like one to two seconds and then they disappear. So you have to like get the pattern right or you die. Uh, and because I have the surfboard item, I can basically just bypass the whole section. But when I was younger, uh, I made a point to... I made a point to do it like without using the surfboard. Uh, but again, I won't be doing that this time just because it's unnecessarily hard. And I don't think I've died yet, so... I don't want to die, like, if I don't have to unnecessarily. Is there anything? One of the only enemies in the game that you kill with bubble. Beginning of the bricks. You can go to hell. Wait, what? if I'm quiet during this level and also quick man. Your brain can only think about so many things. That one, if you fuck it up, you die. Same thing here, obviously. And yeah, I used to take pride in finishing that part, no problem, but no reason to do it when you got some item too. I gotta say, of all the outfits, I like the gray and white bubble one the best. Ow. Yep, it's just all about knowing which one to use for each guy. Atomic fire, and I bring you another item from this guy. Hmm. 
What, am I gonna fight someone in the laboratory? So this level has the most intense part for, like, the regular levels. bro. Alright. Oh, I'm gonna die. What? How did I get away with it? How did I get away with it? I don't know how I got away with that. Oh, what? What? Could be boring. I think I'm gonna be boring. Oh wait. That's not even the real part. The real part's still coming. I used to pride myself on getting through this without using it, but frankly, why bother? It's still gonna be tight. Yeesh! No! hurts this guy. Maybe air? This is just a guess. I th like, if you use a full amount of freeze, it takes off half his life, but there's gotta be a better weapon than that. I guess that's not bad, yeah. was my last shot. I'll take killing him with my last shot. what Dr. Wiley's got cooking. Yeah, it looks like you're gonna be with me for about an hour, folks, because we're at 40 minutes and there's still, there's still distance to go here. Oh, the best music in the fucking game. Okusenmon, Okusenmon. It 
just pumps me up. I want to like run through a brick wall when I hear this. That was not- oh, this is really bad. Now I'm gonna have to refill that. Oh, that doesn't help. Come on, birds. Where you at, birds? Have any birds? There we go. Oh, what? I had to get that is because we'll have to use that a couple more times on this level specifically, so there we go. Oh, come on, it won't let me change it until it disappears. Gotta be pretty precise on this one. Alright, coming up to one of the hardest parts of the game, and I feel like probably my first death, because doing this first try is very unlikely. Take a sip of water real quick. Okay, here we go. It's like, it's the funniest thing that's ever happened in life, right? That means I need to get, ooh, I think I still have enough. But yeah, that's so fun. I'm probably still gonna die when I do it properly. I'm telling you, that part is not easy. Oh, would you go away? really bummed out about that stupid death, I have to be honest. Whoa, oh, this could get... This could see... This is what happens. You're in a good groove, and then something goes wrong, and it all goes haywire. Alright.
try not to mess up on the first and easiest jump of this entire section. Here we go. Eventually, the screen starts moving on its own. Did I mention this part is really annoying? I'm gonna have to keep going back up and down until this guy gives me... I get it, it's random, but come on, man. I literally don't think this is enough. If it is, it's exactly enough, meaning I have to beat it on this one. Because here's the thing. Getting to the three-part platform is hard enough, and then once you get there, there's at least a couple times when you have to jump over his fireballs and keep shooting him and land. Again, when there's a lot of shit on the screen you can't see... There we go. Arguably the most difficult part in the entire game. And I 
hate how you have to wait a couple times. You literally can't get hit. You have to play that entire part perfectly without getting hit once. Like, if we get past this, I can beat this game, no problem, but this is a question. I beat him and I died. Oh my god. Oh my god, I beat him! Can't stop me. Now I'm confident in beating the game, but given how many lives I lost there, it might be with a continue. Like, what do you need to refill, bro? So we need two here. I don't think we need one again. Yeah, I can kill these guys endlessly and get some more refill. What else do I need refilled?
ladder. Oh no, that was not the one I wanted. Because see, I need flash bombs later. I need every single one. Okay, that helped. But no, oh, that does help also. side, because, man, there's a lot of goodies over there. Nope. Oof. Oh, spikes. Right? Well, I can get the clash uh, bombs back then. There we go. an extra man, maybe? Oh, what? It just disappeared, like, right in front of my face? I like this music, it's sort of melancholic. I seem to make dumb decisions like that sometimes. Seems to be whenever I pause my flow, it's just not good. Just gotta keep it moving. I thought I remembered P being the only thing that worked, but... Guess not. All 
Alright, here we go. of this one is. Yeah, just take two hits off for nothing. Oh! Dr. Wiley's castle level. And a level where there are things you can fall through pitfalls on this level, but they're invisible. So definitely a continue will be happening, because there's no way I'm beating the rest of the game with without dying. Oh, but that could make a difference. What am I doing? go around it. Alright, well, again, that helps. God, I love it. And see, this part, we're gonna use item two, because fuck you, man. Nope. I'm not falling for that. Oh shit. Not the time you want to jump off the ladder. First one relatively simple, and then they get more complicated. Thank <laughs> you. 
this is the one. Again, you can do it the regular way, and I used to be very proud of myself for doing that, but fuck you, game. You wanna drop down an extra guy for me killing you? Great. Okay, so, yeah, uh, lucky I got that extra guy, because literally you can't beat this in one go, even though I'm going to do something which is like, I mean, I don't know how you beat it without this, but yeah, there's a secret to this. Watch their flashing. But again, you can't beat this in one. Actually, I just gotta wait. Oh no! Well that ruined it. Oh I got him, okay. Yeah, because I only have two bombs left. I can't do it. So I have to die. Anything else that works on him? Nope, that doesn't work. Yeah, it, there's nothing else that works. But when you come back, all the walls and targets you've already killed are still dead, so... cheating game. I don't feel bad about cheating because you cheat. Oh, and you know what I just remembered? There is another guy I gotta beat with quick boomerang. So I gotta make sure I got a full quick boomerang. Thank you. 
I need at least two. I need one to kill that wall above him, because I don't think you can actually kill that guy. Nope, of course not. Shit, this is a problem. I need an energy bin, man. Oh my god, I forgot they're all back. Well, this, this means I have to use a continue. Might as well just die now. I forgot it was just the walls. I thought it was all the targets. Well, I gotta do the whole level again, so... Again. Sorry, people. that extra guy. Because we know we have to die an extra time. Why are you still playing this game? It's like chewing on my headphone cord. Uh, wait, what?
like archery practice. last time with that. Like, if I had that last time, I would have been fine. Alright, is there any way to do this? Like, I guess I don't have to blow up this wall straight in front of me. up and disappear, because I'm going to get hit if you don't disappear, bro. Okay. your energy bins don't fucking... What the fuck, dude? Alright. Okay. shots left, so there's no way to do it, right? Shit. Yep, not now. Well, I better kill these walls with my last couple shots. Get up there without getting hit. It's not happening.
Nope, of course not. Fooling myself to think that they might actually give me an item that would then fall on me. I mean, it's literally the most pointless thing I've ever seen in my life. Oh my god, that helps. That helps, but still more work to be done. Oh my god. Okay, this should be good enough. That's like the first thing I need to use, too. Right, 
row. will do. much air because you need it for Clash Man. Speak of the devil. And then Mega Man died from falling that far, and Dr. Wily's evil desires continued. And once I beat it, we should get to see one of the coolest endings of old school video games. Missed too many times.
I think that's still enough, but it's close. Like a third of your health in one touch. See, because here's the thing, I think if I die here, I have to redo all the bosses again. Coming home. Thought I was gonna get hit on that one. Jumped early. Oh my god. One hit, baby. I'm doing the hook'em horns thing right now. It looks like me when I was getting killed by that dragon in the beginning of the Wily's castle. But yeah, so apparently that was a hologram alien skeleton. Anyway, here's the best ending ever.
and see, that's how the franchise should have ended. But like with Terminator 3, they were like, well, but we can make more money. no doubt. Hey, I like this stripped down remix. Yuki Chan's Papa? Okay. AK just went around making ideas for things. Hey, what do you think if we did this? Well, I want to thank you all for your patience. And I apologize. There were a couple moments there where I was getting a little frustrated, but, you know, it's a hard game. Back in the day, I beat it a little cleaner than that fish man. Yeah, you're welcome, but you want to tell me more about Fishman? Well, there you go, folks. Mega Man 2, beaten in about an hour and a half. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the journey. And yeah, I won't take up any more of your time, but let me know if there's any other games that I listed in one of the previous gaming playthroughs. I think it was the Contra one. But yeah, let me know if there's anything else you would like to see me play. Peace.